This video is on chain rule examples, the chain rule, and chain rule calculus. If you see in a given problem a function under a radical sign, or a function enclosed in a parentheses where that function is a taken to a higher power, in other words, has an exponent, or a trig function, such as sine, cosine, or tangent, where there is something more than an x in the parentheses of that trig function, you are using the chain rule. To get to my menu, you have to press second alpha on the titanium to enter letters in the home screen, and then you enter the letters I, N, D, E, X. Press alpha again and enter the eight and the closed parentheses. Press enter and you're into my menu. You choose chain rule by scrolling down to it or pressing the number before it, in this case the number 5. You are given four things to choose from here. 1. A function under a radical sign. 2. Anything enclosed in parentheses to a power. 3. If you are already given y and u and for the trig functions with something more than an x involved. I'm demonstrating the first option in this video, the function under the radical sign. You enter your radical function, press alpha first, second the radical sign, Now if you enter a radical function like I'm doing here and you'll be told that you must change the radical to an exponent function and bring you back to the entry line to do it. Generally, you must always do this in calculus for radicals. So change the function. Press alpha, left parentheses, to an exponent, since it's one-half, radical sign has an exponent of one-half, a cube root sign has a radical of, um, I mean an exponent of one-third. You are shown what you've entered, you can change it if you want. I say it's okay. You're given the formula for the chain rule. You're given u and what u prime you're given g of x and the g prime of x. You put the formula together And you substitute 3x squared plus 3x for u, and there's your answer. Pretty neat, huh? EverystepCalculus.com. Enjoy my programs and pass calculus.